Hey guys, it's Jason, and today I'm going to be fulfilling a video request. Uh, the request was if I could do a little tutorial on how I set up the hammock to hang it indoors. So that's what we're going to talk about. Um, it's actually pretty easy to do. Now you're going to need a couple items before you get started with this project. It should take you probably 10 to 15 minutes to complete. You're going to need a drill. You're going to need a sharpie. You're going to need two uh, steel eye hooks, heavy duty steel eye hooks, a uh, drill bit, and of course your hammock and a pair of carabiners. So with that, let me take you around and I'll show you what I did. These are the eye hooks that you want to go up to your local hardware store or like I said, buy online, find these. These are heavy duty steel eye hooks. You're going to want to find a drill bit that is just a little bit smaller than the threads on the actual eye hook. Now I'm not going to take this down because it's it's firmly planted in the wall and I'm not even sure I could unscrew this at this point because uh, it's been in there for quite a while. But let me make this project a little easier for you and show you what's on the other side of this drywall. So maybe you can kind of visualize it if you're not you know, construction savvy or you really don't know how this is working in the drywall. Along the back side of your drywall, which is what we're looking at, you're going to have the studs, the, the boards that are holding up the drywall and giving you that support. Now these boards, from the center of this board to the center of this board, are they should be 16 inches on center. Okay, so 16 inches between the center of this board and this board. That's what we're going to want to drill into. Now most of you aren't going to be able to see the studs from the drywall side of the wall. So what they do is they actually have stud finders. These, this one's about $10 up at Home Depot. You can pick these one. You can pick up one of these as well along with your eye hooks. And what you do is you place it on the wall and you just move it along the wall until it beeps. Okay, and that's going to be where your stud is. That's the position that you want to drill. Now before we actually get into drilling into the stud, first go to, I believe it's called the Ultimate Hang. There's also an app for this that you can search for for iPhone or Android. It's called the Ultimate Hang Calculator. It was made by Derek Henson, who is the author of the Ultimate Hang book. If you don't know about the Ultimate Hang book, it's worth the 10 or $15. Just go ahead and buy it, especially if you're a beginner. You're going to learn a whole bunch of stuff from that book. I bought it uh, two years into uh, me hammock camping, and I still learned uh, quite a few things. Uh, and again, you can find that on Amazon. Now, go on to the Ultimate Hang, and you're going to find a calculator that you can use. With the calculator, it's going to give you the exact height that you need to drill the stud. It will also give you some options. It'll ask you, you know, how long your hammock is, how long is your ridge line, how long is the room, um, and a couple of other things I can't recall off the top of my head. But you definitely want to fill that out as accurately as possible. So get out the tape measure, measure everything on your hammock, and put in all your numbers. From there, you can then start drilling at the appropriate height on the wall. Now before you start drilling, again, make sure that the um, the drill bit is smaller than the eye hook threads. Okay, you want to you want to have this screwed down really tightly so this isn't going to move. Once you have your hole drilled into your stud, you can then start to screw in your eye hook. Now when this starts going into the stud, it's going to be really hard to turn. So what you do is you simply just take a screwdriver and you can crank it down from there. I'm not going to crank it any tighter than this because it's already perfectly tight into the wall and it's even. But you want to make sure that you know it's in the wall as, as deep as it can go. And once you're done with that, drill it on the opposite end of the wall where you're going to be hanging. And if you use a cinch buckle system like I do, or this will work with whoopee slings or atlas straps, whatever you're using, get a carabiner. I even use these metal ones that I also picked up at Home Depot. Clip it to the eye hook, and then put the 
hole of your webbing right into the carabiner. And that is not, or at least it shouldn't, go anywhere. As long as you drilled into the studs, you should be okay. And then all that's left is to sit back, relax, and enjoy hammocking indoors. Now with the eye hooks, you can also, if you want to play around with your tarp, you can also do your tarp. Or um, if you have a basement, you can even drill some eye hooks or you know tape something down, and you can put your uh, your tarp lines on that. You can do a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, but this is a great way to test your gear, your underquilt, get it situated before you actually go out there. Sometimes, you know, I find sleeping in a hammock is so comfortable. Sometimes when I can't sleep in my bed, I'm down here most often. And uh, it's great just to be able to maybe lounge around, watch TV, read a book indoors when it's cold outside. So I hope this helped. Um, also, Derek Henson has a basically a video tutorial on how to do this. Just check him out, Derek Henson, on YouTube. And he gives a ton of great information. So, But this is just how I did it. There's plenty of other ways to do it. I know Eno has a uh, an indoor hanging kit that you can also purchase. It's like 20 bucks, but you get everything that you need in there. Uh, but like I said, you can just go to the Home Depot, spend like five, 10 bucks. Hope that helped you guys, and this is just how I do it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the trail.